Okay, so on the left is our actual Godot project we're building. On the right is the example we're following with some guidelines. And these guidelines represent the different containers we're going to be using and the different tiers of containers, right? So these oranges are obviously in a level below the red and the yellow is below the orange, etc., etc. So let's just go straight into the project. Now, first we have a margin container and it's important to understand how a margin container works. We're setting its size to the viewport, right? But the margin containers children, right? That's what we're using a margin container for because these custom constants set how big the children can be, right? So margin right, which means from here, 110, top here to 25. So we're basically making this menu, right? The size of this menu based on the viewport size. Okay, so now we have a background. This is just a color rec just to show the background. Um, it's not really necessary, it's just for show. And we have this thing called margin to red, right? And the reason is because we want to use a margin container to get to this part, right? It's the same concept with why we had this one, except this one now we're refining it or defining it inside of the menu, right? Go down here, we have this red VBox, which is the size of the red. Oh, and you'll notice for all the um, children of margin containers, we're gonna have fill expand because we want this red to be the whole size of the margin, right? Whole size of whatever we defined. Okay, so orange title. Uh, you'll notice so that we're not setting any vertical size flags because we don't want it to expand the whole way. And what expanding does is, if I show you, it pushes everything down because it's trying to fill up as much space as there is, right? As there exists. Um, so here we're actually expanding and you'll notice how that works, right? The title only takes up this much, but the margin, the orange margin, takes up the rest of the space of this red V box. So that's how that works. And we're setting another margin because we wanna set it to this yellow, right? So let's go into this yellow and this yellow is now this size, which is what we defined. And then we have these different green children. Um, this is an H box, by the way. I don't know if I said V box. Um, these different children, right? How are we sizing it? You'll notice again, we're not expanding in horizontal way. We're not doing it in here either. It's the same. We're not expanding. Um, fill doesn't really matter. You could do it either way uh, for this case. But so if these buttons only take up this amount, right? Then that means when we expand here, it's gonna try to take up the rest of the horizontal component, which it does, right? If we take this off, see, it just defaults to the size of the text. So I guess we could go over that too. So in this, in this example, um, the UI is very dependent on the button size. And the button size is dependent on the text used in the button size. You'll notice this. If I do um, A, B, right? It pushes everything because that's the size of the text. The only way you could really um, combat this is using clip text, but generally you don't wanna be cl clipping text when uh, making UI, right? So let's go into this green V box. Again, fill expand, like we said before. Uh, now we have these two blue components, right? And it's an H box and a V box. Um, this V box, again, does not have a vertical uh, size flag. Why? Because we want to default it to the top, and we also don't want to make it so it takes up the rest of the space, right? But the H box, we do want to expand vertically, right? And we don't want to fill. The reason we don't want to fill is because we don't want the buttons to be that size. We just want the area it inhabits to be in this size. Um, the reason being is if we don't have this and we just have fill, right, like that, and it's just going to be here. But if we expand, right, and we shrink end, then it'll be at the end of this whole area defined by expand. Okay, so let's go into VBox first. It's just a bunch of buttons, single player, multiplayer, etc. And then in blue H box, it's just options and quit. So that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one thing I'll mention is these, uh, 
are also fill expands because we want these buttons to be the same size based on this blue container, right? So if this V box grows, right? If let's say the V box was this big, right? Then all the buttons would equally be, you know, a certain size that fills up that container, if that makes sense, right? And then it's in this H box, uh, we have the same concept, except it's horizontal now, right? You'll notice if for quit, right? If we ch did not check like these fill expands, then this will fill expand everything and this will default to the text size of the button, right? Which is the minimum size. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, that's the tutorial, but I could kind of go over why I chose different things now. And the reason being is because let's say I have this uh, red container here, right? And why am I using margin container? Like I said before, I want it to be dependent on the menu size, right? I could just size the margin container like manually, right? I could just size the container manually, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of creating a dynamic UI. That's what containers are for, right? In general, you could just make this, right? You could just draw it. Right, you could just manually place all these different components here, here, here without calculating anything, right? But that would make your uh, UI very, um, it wouldn't be nice to change it, right? Because if you place everything manually and let's say you just want to increase the size of the UI a little bit, right? Then you're going to just have to change all the positions of everything and it's just going to be, you know, a bad experience. Now, another huge thing I want to mention is people are probably going to look at this and size this, right? Have this in its own container and have this, right? Because these look like they, they're all the same button. So, of course, I would want this in its own container. Um, the reason you don't want to do this, right? Split it this way is because you'll notice that the width of these two combined is the same as the width of these buttons, right? And so you want these widths, right? to be dependent on these widths, okay? If you separate this into its own component, you're gonna have to manually calculate these different um, margins, which you don't wanna do, right? This is the whole point, like I said. So anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to let me know. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> make sure to let me know if you have any questions, right? I know you can, UI can be a very complicated thing, so yeah. That's it from me and thank you guys.